Hey guys, it's Ross Scott and on Spurs Coast today we're joined by Young Han Solo because we're going to take a look at his land speeder that he uses on Corelli and here is the spread for it. Really like this vehicle, it's nice and sleek and the use of the blue with the white um, stripes is very, very attractive. The M68 land speeder. So let's see what it says. <coughs> Han won't admit how he ended up piloting this overpowered M68 Landspeeder. All, he all he'll say is that its previous owner had no longer had need of it. Han has a keen eye for technology and recognises the M68's capabilities at a glance. A simple bit of hot wiring and it is his to take for a spin. High performance vehicle. The Landspeeder is lifted off the ground by a repulsor field while propulsion thrusters push the vehicle forward. Each thruster has a variable exhaust nozzle that shapes and directs thrust and lets the pilot spin the vehicle around at fast speeds. The repulsor field also works as a traction field for better control. Right. The, M, the compact M68 is considered a classic by street racing enthusiasts. Marketed to a youth audience by Mobquet Swoops and Speeders, it is available in both hard top and open air models. The standard M68 comes with a 289 high rep propulsor lift generator that can be e that can easily be modified and overcharged by thrill seekers. So we see here smooth spoiler reduces air drag and that is this. You see the intake there. What does the tech say? Oh, hands gone flying. Air is drawn into the speeder's custom cool burning in injectrine engines through a large exposed inlet on the front grille. There's side ducting fuel lines and speed governor, speed governor mechanisms, which are these here. We also see from the back, there's some information, you see it from the back here. So what do we have? Exposed cooling fan for repulsor lift generator, which is also on the front and is basically this piece of apparatus. Sorry, there you go, that piece there. The airspeed tracker and the telemetry antenna is the bit that's at the side of the spoiler, this bit here. You see it noted here on the rear view. Yeah, so that cylinder at the edge of the spoiler is where all the telemetry comes in. The exhaust nozzle obviously adjusts to change direction of the force. You see them there. So the nozzles, they can adjust their shape. And we also have the repulsor field transmitter banks, which are all of these along here. And then obviously... We see his dice there, and about that, as a good luck charm, Han carries with him a pair of erodium plated chance cubes. They are used in the Corellian spike version of Sabak, where a roll of doubles triggers card shuffles. They soon find a home on the land speeder's windscreen. And the face value shows four, which is one of six possible results per cube. So that's what that one is showing. That is showing a four. So yes, it is a Mobcat M68 land speeder, height 1.29 meters, length 3.85, crew of one plus one passenger, speed 225 kilometers per hour. So again, much faster than the AT hauler. And this particular version has no weapons. But yes, I do like it. Very attractive vehicle. hopefully be able to get this vehicle in due course in that mini size but just for now that is just a look at Hans Landspeeder that he uses on Corellia please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content leave me a comment suggestion what coming topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video